I'll share several lumbar interventional procedures for the radicular pain in the CM medley. This medley is designed to help beginners and intermediate experts perform better practices. The technical difficulties are diverse depending on the morphology and deformity of the lumbar spine. You will learn how I approach the target and solve the challenges. Let me demonstrate the first case. The lateral L5 targeting is more accessible than the right one because of the excellent delineation of the inferior border of the transfer process and the narrow, clear lateral border of the articular process. And the right L5 is more challenging because of the downward curvature of the inferior border of the transverse process and laterally protruded articular process. Left ipsilateral oblique view. I have a clear view of a safe triangle. I will place the needle at the standard textbook spot, inferior lateral aspect of the safe triangle. I noticed that the inferior border of the pedicle and the inferior border of the transverse process looks overlapping at the medial corner. This figure suggests an easy approach from the puncture side to the 12 o'clock position of the pedicle directly. It allows me to advance the needle close to the inferior border of the transverse process on AP view. Let me turn to the contralateral oblique view. Nothing stops me from close moving the needle along the inferior border. The contrast spread looks good. Let me turn to AP view. The right approach is challenging than left one. Let me turn to the right ipsilateral oblique view. The inferior border of the transverse process is placed quarter to the line of the pedicle and downward protrusion of the transverse process. I can't go directly into the target point with a standard technique. Need to place the needle more inferior and lateral from the usual target point. If my needle trajectory is too flat, I may hit the lateral border of the bony structure, failing to go to the foraminal target. So make sure to make enough needle slope. I ask her to rotate the CM to control lateral oblique view. The inferior border of the pedicle is clear. It is the lateral border of the inferior articular process. I have to underpass the bony line.
the contrast pattern is OK. Let us put the CMAP view. Does the contrast pattern look like a mustache? I will demonstrate the second case. It is a little more challenging. The prominent spurs of the superior articular process will be an obstacle on both sides. Let me if laterally rotate the CM. I may have to move more to visualize the safe triangle. Of course, the skin puncture site will be more lateral than the standard point, but I try not to go close to the lateral border of the superior articular process. Let me show you the AP view. A slight twist of the needle turns the direction of the needle toward the target. Let me show you the contralateral oblique view. It is the lateral border of the articular process. I need to pass under this border. Let me administer contrast media. The contrast spreading pattern is good. Let me show you the AP view and deliver the steroids. I insist on a lure lock type instead of an ordinary disposable plastic syringe. The fluid frequently blows out at the connection of the disposable syringe because of the high viscosity of contrast media and dextrose. Blue lock prevents unexpected blast. Let me go to the right ipsilateral oblique view. I may have to ask more angulation than you expected. The procedure for the right side is more challenging to control the needle because I must move the needle from out to inside. I should focus on needle orientation more. I should consider degree of CM oblique angle and cranial tilting angle while I watch the needle and needle shadow. The long placenta forceps is very handy to reduce radiation hazard. I can control the needle direction and move forward by twisting gentle pushing, and sometimes bending the needle shaft. I'll show you AP view, contralateral oblique. The curved line may be the lateral border of the articular process. Looks good. AP view. I hold the spinal needle while I push the piston of the syringe. It prevents displacement of the needle. Let me show you the third case. It is an easy case. 
ipsilateral oblique. The only concern is the high iliac crest. I'll go directly to the contralateral oblique view. I ask him, okay? The contrast spread is okay. AP view. He felt pain while administering the drug. So, I have to slow down the injection speed as much as he could bear. Let me go to another side. Contralateral oblique. I have to pass the lateral border of the articular process. Looks good. AP view and let me administer the drug. He felt pain again. I think post-operative fibrosis is blocking the drug's free passage and high viscosity accentuates the pain. Good job and thank you for your cooperation. Thank you for watching, see you in the following videos.